Hi, everyone. Today is a great day for me, Quilting with Harriet. My machine has been down for about three weeks. I was quilting a quilt for a customer, and all of a sudden, the machine stopped. So um, I called Handy Quilter, who I, in my opinion, has great customer service. They've never let me down. And they had us open up the, the case of the machine. My husband's a computer guy, so I have utmost faith in him. We opened up the machine and they asked us to check one of the boards for the lights to see if the lights were on and we saw no lights. So the, the tech said, your machine has no heartbeat. Oh, you don't want to hear those words when you're quilting a customer quilt. So I had to take everything off the frame and get ready for the parts to come. They arrived yesterday. My husband put them in, put everything back together, and now I'm ready to start again. So I thought I'd take you with me to show you how I line up my crosshairs with my quilt and the pattern to get everything lined up again and just resume from where I left off. Let me explain to you how I removed my quilt so that we could get the machine undressed and ready to open up the case um i had to we had to um take the quilt off the poles so that we had some room to work this is where my quilt top is right here so i just unrolled it and ripped the velcro off left my red snappers on so now all i have was the velcro and the snapper attached and then I came down to the, the two poles here where my quilt is loaded and my backing. And then all we had to do was grab all three poles and lift them up and put them down on the floor so I could walk around and still work in my room. And we had room to get into the front and the back of the machine. So the parts came in and um, thank goodness for John, he put everything back together, all my lights came on, handlebars were working again. And so all I had to do was lift up my poles, put the two on the bottom and re-roll the Velcro onto the bar and everything is in the same position it was when I, when I stopped quilting. And now I'm ready to line up my pattern to the quilt. So let me take you with me and show you how easy it is to line up my quilt and get started again. I'm really excited to get started. So the first thing you want to do is it's needle first on your quilt, needle first. Then you go to the pro stitcher. So remember that, write that down, needle first, then computer. So I did one row already and now I was on the second row. It did one repeat, it started the second repeat and it stopped right here. And all it needed to do was go a little bit more up and then over to the third repeat. So I need to get my machine started right about here. So it'll just run over a couple of stitches and then continue on and complete the row. So first is the quilt. I'm gonna put my needle where I wanna reposition to. So I'm gonna choose a point down here that I can see in, in my Baptist fan, one of the lower points, and I'm gonna put my needle right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to my Pro Stitcher, and I'm gonna open my pattern. So I'm gonna to go to File Design, and it's the first pattern because I saved it. It's called, I called it Lana, that's whose quilt it is. And there's my Baptist fan. So I'm gonna move you over just a little bit so I can you can see my screen here. And I want to, I've already done the first row. I want to do the second row. So let me pan down here a little bit and I'm going to zoom in so you can see. I've already done this first repeat and I've done some of this second one. So I'm going to line up my pattern right here on the quilt with the needle. And then I'm going to move this whole pattern over to the crosshair. So as I go to that spot on my quilt, you see the crosshair is moving. And I want it right there. Now I'm going to find that spot on my, on my computer. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for you. Okay. 
So that spot is right here. I'm going to take my finger, move you over a little bit so you can see. So I can move this a little bit right there. Okay. And I'm going to pan over here and I'm going to zoom in a little more so you can see. Okay. I want it right here because that's where my needle is on the quilt. So I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to move, whoop, take that follow button off. I'm going to hit the select button. Did you see if I had the pan on, the whole thing was moving with me? You have to have the select button on. Now just the pattern will move to my crosshair, which is on my quilt. So I'm just going to move this right to that same spot right there. Okay, I'm pretty close. I'm going to turn on my follow button because that's going to attach my needle to the to the crosshair. So when I zoom in, I'm going to zoom in at that crosshair. So I'm going to zoom a little bit. And you can see I'm a little bit off. So now I'm going to go modify, reposition, and I'm going to use my nudge keys over here. So I'm going to nudge it up a little bit and over a little bit. Now I'm going to move on my quilt and I'm going to find another spot and I'm on there and I'm on that one right there and I think I'm good to go. So now what I want to do, I'm going to hit the select button, the um, refresh button. And now what I want to do, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to baseline because when I do my drag and drop, I want it to remember where it needs to go to start the next row. So always baseline when you open a pattern again. Now what I want to do, I'm going to pan down and zoom in so you can see. I actually want my start point up here on this second row, right on that second line right there where it stopped. So I'm going to move my machine there. And that's exactly where I want to be. Now I'm going to go. Now I'm going to go pro stitcher, new start end, and I'm going to hit the auto twice. And that's going to lock that start point in. So if I move my machine, you see that start point is locked. It's not going anywhere. So now that I'm ready, I've got it all lined up. I can even check up here and make sure that I'm lined up on this row and I'm looking at my quilt and I'm looking at my, my screen and everything seems to be lined up. I am ready to start quilting again. So let me give you a little tip here. I am actually working on a digital print and I learned this from another educator. I'll bring you down to the quilt one more time. This is a digital print. It's, it's, printed different than cotton fabric is. It's a digital process. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but you want to use a ballpoint needle when you are working on a digital print. And the reason for that is that when your needle, your ballpoint needle goes in, it's splitting the fibers. It's sp splitting the threads. A sharp needle is going to go down and split the thread. And that's when you're going to get the white streak on your digital print. So you want to use a ballpoint needle on there. All right, so I am ready to get started. I've been itching the quilt for three weeks. So now um, I'm going to oil my machine because it hasn't been oiled. I've changed to the ballpoint needle. I'm going to test my tension and I'm going to hope to get this quilt done this afternoon. So give me a like, please subscribe and hit the notification. Guys, if you hit the like, it just brings me closer to the top when people are searching for long arm or quilting or pro stitcher. It also, um, it's a cheap class. It's, a, it's free lessons. It's free tips. Just um, do me a favor and hit the like button. So anyway, um, happy quilting and let me know if this works for you. Let me know if you try it. Let me know what else you want to see and I'll be back soon. Bye.